Hello, welcome to the next session. This will be the last session for the chapter matrices. And in most of the board papers, you can see this model question in a six mark problem. Uh, finding the inverse of the matrices using elementary transformation. Most of the board papers they used to test this in a six mark question. Very lovely. Uh, let me do two problems based on elementary row transformation and one with elementary column transformation. So I told you this was a general question. Find the inverse of the matrix using elementary transformation. This was a general question I said. So the matrix A is given. The matrix A is given. We know that A equal to IA. We know that A equal to IA. So just place the matrix A. Uh, equal to i into a. I told you for elementary row transformation, you have to write a equal to i a because the row operations will be applied to only the first matrices of the RHS. Listen, the same process for three cross three, the pattern is 1, 0, 0. I have to make this first element 1, then 0 and followed by 0, then 1, 0, then 1, 0, 0, we have to follow the pattern to be like a W, W pattern, just follow this pattern. Um, and most of the time this pattern works, but for, in, but for some cases, uh, in any one of the elements this pattern does not work, so you can skip that element and you can go back to the next element. You can just follow the next element. Listen. So, our aim is to make this first element as one. Well. Right? The first step is I have to make this first element as 1. So how will I make the first element as 1? It is very simple. We have 2 here. If I subtract these two rows, if I subtract these two rows, this element, this first element will become 1. Am I right? So the first operation is very clear. R1 implies R1 minus R2. R1 implies R1 minus R2. So listen carefully. Just follow the instruction. When you apply the operation for any one row, fill the other two rows as it is, and then apply the operation for the particular row. Listen. So I have applied the operation for first row. I have applied the operation for first row. So the second row and the third row and the third row will be as it is. The second row and the third row. Now apply the operation for first row. I mean R1 implies R1 minus R2. No? So 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. And then here 0 minus 3, which is minus 3. Then minus 1 minus 0, which is minus 1. Then 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. Listen. Next, according to this pattern, target this element. Just go in this pattern. Okay. Just go in this pattern. So see here, I have to make this element 0. Once again, the operation is very simple. R2 implies this element lies in second row. So R2 implies R2 minus 2 times R1. R2 implies R2 minus 2 times R1. So once again, I'm telling you, whenever you apply the operation for any one row, write the fill the other two rows first. So that we won't commit any errors this way. So just look at the element and fill the other two elements first. I mean first row and third row as this. First row and third row as this. First row and third row as this. Now fill the second row. Second row element. So just follow the pattern. It is R2 implies R2 minus 2 times R1. Am I right? R2 implies R2 minus 2 times R1, which means 2 minus 2 into 1, 0. Then 3 plus 6, because 3 minus 2 into minus 3. So 3 plus 6, 3 plus 6 is 9. Then 0 plus 2, which is 2. Then 0 minus 2, which is minus 2. Then 1 minus 1. 1 plus 2 3, then 0 minus 2 into 0 is 0. So 2 minus 2 into 1, 3 minus 2 into minus 3, 0 minus 
then 1 plus 8 is 9, minus 1 minus 2 is minus 13, 0 plus 9 is 9. Now we are left with only one step. I have to make this minus 3 as 0. I can use the second one. I can use the second one to make the minus 3 as 0. The operation is R1 implies R1 plus 3 times R2. Am I right? R1 implies R1 plus 3 times R2. So write the second row and the third row as it is. So the second row is 0, 1, 0. And 0, 0, 1. 3 minus 2. And 8 minus 12, 9. The first row is R1 plus R1 plus 3 times R2. So 1 plus 3 is 0, 1. Minus 3 plus 3 is 1, 0. 0 plus 3 is 0, 0. 9 plus 3 into minus 2. 9 minus 6 is minus uh, plus 3. Then minus 13 plus 9 minus 4. 9 minus 6 is 3. So I got identity matrix equal to some matrix into A, which means this matrix is going to be the inverse of A. So you would say the inverse of the matrix is. Question number 36 now. Minus 2 into 1, 0 minus 2 into 0, 1, 0 minus 2 into 
Now look at the third operation. What is the operation? I am placing third row. Row 3 in place, row 3 minus row 1. So 1 minus 1, 0. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. 3 minus 0, 3. Then 0 minus 1, minus 1. 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus 0, 1. Understood? I am taking the slow pace, just this is a Now, our target is, according to the pattern, we have made this element 1 and this 0 and this 0. And the next element of our target is the middle element. This should be 1. How do you make this as 1? It is very, very simple. We have minus 1. So, I multiply the entire second row by minus. This minus 1 will be automatically plus 1. So, it is going to be very simple. I am going to multiply the entire second row by minus. I need R2 in place minus R2. Understood? R2 in place minus R2. So, this is First row will be as this 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0. And third row also as this 0, minus 3, 3, minus 1, 0, 1. Now the second row is second row in place minus or second row. So I mean I have to multiply with minus 2 each and every element of the second row. I mean 0, 1, 1. So this will become 2 minus 1, 3. Alright? Now as we have the, the next element I have to target is this minus 3. The next element I have to target is this minus 3. So if I say I have to make this minus 3 as 0, the suitable operation is I can use the second row this one now, I can replace this one. Because third row plus three times second row, this minus three plus three times second row will give you this element as zero. So row three in place, row three plus three times row two. So R3 in place, R3 plus three times R2 plus three times R2. So listen. The first row and the second row should be as this because we have obtained operation for third row. The first row and the second row should be as it is. So see here, write the first row and second row as this. 1, 2, 0. 1, double 0. 0, double 1. 2, minus 1, 0. Now look at the third row. 0 plus 3 into 0. 0. I am just tracing the elements. Listen to this. Minus 3 plus 3 into 1. So 0. 3 minus 3 into 1. 0. 3 minus 3 into 1. Sorry. 3, uh, 3 plus 1. 3 plus 3 into 3. So this is 6. Addition operation. 3 plus 3 into 1 is 6. Then minus 1 plus 3 into 2. Minus 1 plus 6 is plus 5. Then 0 minus 3. Then 1 plus 3 is 0, which is 1. Now, according to the pattern, I have made this 1 and I made this 0. According, now we are here. Now we are here. Next element is this element. I have to make this 6 as 1. It is very simple. I have to make this 6 as 1. The simple operation is R3 plus R3 by 6. Because if I divide the whole by 6, it will not affect the previous 0. Because 0 by 6 is 0, 0 by 6 is going to be 0. So the operation what we are applying that should not affect the previous 1 and 0, what we have already made. Listen. So again, the first row and the second row should be as it is. The first row is 1, 2, 0. The second row is 0, 1, 1. And the third row is 0, 0, 1. And this is 5 by 6. Minus 3 by 6 is minus 1 by 2. This is 1 by 6. Now, according to the pattern, this element I have to target. Uh, I have to make the element as 0. Once again, the operation is going to be very simple now. R2 implies this minus this. So then 1 minus 1 will become 0, no? So R2 implies R2 minus R3. R2 implies R2 minus R3. That will give you this 1 as 0. So write the first row and third row as this. The third row is 0, 0, 1. First row and third row as this. Now you get the second row. Second row in place, second row minus third row. So 0 minus 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 2 minus 5 by 6. So 12 minus 5, 7 by 6. Please take the same. 
minus 1 plus 1 by 2 which is minus 1 by 2 0 minus 1 by 6 is minus 1 by 6 now the final step the final step is I have to make this two this two as 0 the operation is R1 implies R1 I have to use a visiting row I have to make this as 0 so 2 minus 2 into 1 will be 0 so R1 implies R1 minus 2 times R2 I can say R1 implies R1 minus 2 times R2 which means the first row and the third row once again will be as this so first row and third row will be as this There is a change in the second row. Oh, sorry. Second row and third row will be as this. There is a change in the first row. Second row and third row will be as this. R1 implies R1 minus R2. 2 times R2. So 1 minus 2 into 0, 1. 2 minus 2 into 0. 0 minus. Then 1 minus. Uh, 7 by 3, 1 minus 2 times is no, so 1 minus 7 by 3. So 1 minus 7 by 3 is 3 minus 7 minus 4 by 3. Then 0 plus 1 minus 2 times 1 by 2, so 0 plus 1, which is 1. Then 0 plus 1 by 3 is 1 by 3. Which implies A versus minus 4 by 3 on 1 by 3, 7 by 6 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6, Then for the elementary column transformation, I don't need to start with A equal to A R. Right? We know that we know that A e equal to A R. So just place it. I mean the matrix A is 3 minus 1 minus 2, 2 0 minus 1, 3 minus 5 0 e equal to A R. 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 A equal to A I here the pattern is 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 you will be like 3 numerical 3 so this according to this pattern we are going to proceed with the operations we are going to proceed with the operations according to this pattern isn't it so according to this pattern, this first element should be 1. The first element should be 1. So using column, don't look at row, you have to look at the column. Just keep the eye contact with the columns. So this column plus some number into the other columns that should give you the second column. So the convenient is this, this second, second column, right? So I can compare, I can call it the column 1 and column 2 and I can easily make this three as 1. The operation is column 1 implies column 1 plus 2 times column 2. Am I right? 
3 plus 2 into minus 1 that will give you 1. So I can say now this is whenever I apply the operation for the particular column, I have to write the other columns, I have to fill the other columns first. So fill the column 2 and column 3. Fill the column 2 and the column 3. Now the operation for column 1 is column 1 implies column 1 plus 2 times column 2. This means 3 plus 2 into minus 1, 1. 2 plus 2 into 0, 2. 3 plus 2 into minus 2, 3 minus 10. 3 minus 10 is minus 7. 3 minus 10 is minus 7. Right? Then, 1 plus 2 into 1. 0 plus 2 into 1. 2. 0 plus 2 into 0. 0. Now, I can make these two elements 0 in a single set. The operation is C2 implies C2 plus C1. This is C2 implies C2 plus C1. And C3 implies, this is C3, all of three. C3 implies C3 plus 2 times 1. Okay? So, the first column alone will be as it is. The first column alone will be as it is. The first column is 1, 2, minus 7. And 1, 2, 0. First column alone will be as it is. Apply the operation for column 2 and the column 3. So, first column 2. Column 2 implies column 2 plus column 1. So, minus 1 plus 1, 0. 0 plus 2, 2. Minus 5, minus 7, minus 12. Then this is 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 2, 3. 0 plus 0, 0. Then apply the operation for column 3. Column 3 implies column 3 plus 2 times column. So, minus 2 plus 2, 0. Minus 1 plus 4, 3. 0 minus 14, minus 14. Then here, 0 plus 2, 2. 2, 0 plus 4, 4. 1 plus 0, 1. Now, according to the pattern, I have to target. According to the pattern, I have to target the middle element. I have to target this middle element. But uh, the middle element is to uh, middle element. What, what can I do is I can divide the row by two. Column two implies column two by two. This will become one. This will become minus six. So I can use the operation. See here. I can say column two implies column two by two. So the first column is one two minus seven. The third column is zero three minus fourteen equals three into first column is one two zero. Second column in my second column by 2. So I have to divide each and every element of the second column by 2. Each and every element of the second column by 2. Which means 0, 1, minus 6, and 1 by 2, 3 by 2, 0. And according to the pattern, the next target element is 3. See here, we have come across this pattern 1, 0, 0, 1. Now I have to target this element. Correct? So follow the 3 pattern. What are the numerical three? So, how will you make the three as zero? Easy I can convert using this basic element one. So, three minus three into one now. So, column three plus column three minus three times column two. Column three plus column three minus three times column two. That will give you this three as zero. So, then the three will become zero. So, fill the first column and the second column as it is. While filling, you should be very careful. Don't commit any error. One two zero one by two three by two. So now apply the operation. Column three plus column three minus three times column two. So zero minus three is zero. Zero three minus three into one zero minus fourteen plus eight. Minus 14 plus 18. 4. 2 plus 3 by 2. Sorry, 2 minus 3 by 2. 2 minus 3 by 2. This is nothing but 1 by 2. 4 minus 9. 
then 1 0 1 okay 1 minus 3 is 0 is 1 now for the pattern okay this is the common one here now we have to go here I have to target this four it's very simple on all of the intervals all of the intervals all of the by four and the other important thing I have to discuss when you use a row operation for any problem till the end of the problem you have to use only the row operation you cannot switch over to column similarly when you use the column operation till the end you have to use only the column operation you cannot switch over in the middle to row operation that is not possible if you started with the column operation till the end you have to use the column operation only you cannot switch over to row operation which is conceptual error ok understood so see here the column 3 plays column 3 by 4 which means So it will become 1, 0, 0 
minus 10 by 4. The LCM is a ring, so 15 minus 20. 15 minus 20 is minus 5 by 8. Then 9 by 8 minus 6 by 4. So minus 3 by 2. So which means LCM is 8. So minus minus 12. Minus 3 by 8. Then the calculation is very important. You have to be very very careful and have to concentrate. The concentration is very very important for this type of problems. Then 7 by 4 minus 3. So minus 12 minus 5 by 4. So which implies A inverses. Let me take the answer for this. Right. Yes, sir. We are right. And thank you so much. This is the end of the session.